explicit content and subject matter which may be unsuitable for some listeners. Discretion is advised. Hi, this is Donny Osmond, and you're listening to Greg and Joe. Well, I think this is bring on holy, better known as Bert Young. And they're talking about a movie called Creed. You know what, though? You better have Paulie in that movie. If they dump me, it'll be sacrilegious. I hate for Mario Lopez. Mario, I have to go on tonight. Really? <laughs> hey, I'm doing great. And you got a lot of Hollywood hotties up on here, or what? You were like a Miley Cyrus that you were. You know what I mean? Yeah. I don't hurt since you was a little girl. You're a little sweet. And, uh, you know, Swell John. Oh, yeah. Hell, yeah, she has. Mr. Gianni Russo played Carlo Lizzie in the original Godfather. James Caan. Correct, it is Gregorio and myself and our Instagram live audience. Greg, what's up, motherfucker? Uh, not a whole hell of a lot, Joseph. Hey, how do I see this shit? Uh, I'm on uh, a, but I'm on a laptop, I'm on a desktop, or whatever you call it. You that cannot shit. do it, you need to do it from the phone, bro. Yes, yeah, my girlfriend's not here at the moment, so I can't do it on the phone, but that's okay. All I'm right. Just listen to what we. Lord Vader pissed. That's not the real Lord Vader. That's the fake Lord Vader, point twenty-five. All right, so I'll have to relay the stuff for you, but welcome to Goliath Labs presents the Greg and Joe show. I'm showing both cameras. I got to see. I got to be multi-fucking tasking here. See, we don't have Colleen here today, fellas. Our videographer slash producer slash Lindsay Lohan lookalike, who's... Fucking yeah. mixed up with yeah, two disgusting that, skanks though, like, oh she's yeah she's a very very attractive young lady and and she's involved uh, videoing two fucking pieces of shit like you and I so we uh, I gotta make sure that I gotta keep her fucking paid good. He's a cookie cutter impostet imposter. No, you're the imposter, Lord Vader. Point twenty five. That's not my real fucking boy, Jason. I was talking with Jason all morning today, Greg. He and I were going back and forth uh, a lot and uh, talking about some good shit. And he's doing very well. I don't want to. He, he's going to spill the beans himself. I can't say it, but uh, Jason is very. I spoke to him over the weekend as well. But um, I wanted to talk. We were going to talk today about the Camel Crew and how. Uh, Brandon Curry won the Arnold Australia, but there seems to be a much bigger story coming out of the fucking land down under, Greg. And that is the whole thing. What's up, Caramello? That is the whole thing with Dallas McCarver, Sean Ray, and Chad Nichols. Are you part T to any of that stuff? Either on uh, Dave's site or, God forbid, MD? Well, I just talked about it two hours ago. Okay, good. So you're up on it. Yeah. You probably know more than I do then. Yeah, he wanted me to, he wanted me to come to RX. He wanted me to do a, an interview on RX with him, uh, which may later on during the week. But, you know, uh, yeah, I know about the Dallas McCarver thing. You know, you know, basically, this has been going on for a while, though. It's like not, to me, it's not really new, but I guess it's because of, you know, that when they finally saw each other. You know, Sean, listen, I've worked with Sean for years, and I'm one of the few people who actually <laughs> likes Sean and gets real. I get along really well with Sean. He was one of my best friends at, at, at you know, at Muscular Development when we were uh -huh. there. Like, you know, one of the guys, him, Lee Priest, you know, those sort of guys, I, I, you know, the pros I'm talking about. And, of course, Victor. But I'm saying, um, Sean's a very opinionated guy, and he's one of those kind of guys, like, you know, 
I don't know if your breath stinks, so today your breath stinks. You know what I mean? He, he's not the kind of guy that's going to fucking sit back and sugarcoat anything. And if you're looking for some, you know, and I, I, the way I get this is, you know, Dallas said he was sick. He was throwing up for three days, so he yeah. didn't look so great when Jim Mannion was posing for him. And the fact that, you know, uh, uh, you know, Sean Ray came out and blasted him for the way he looked and said, look, you know, Dallas, you're going to wind up being another Trey, uh, Trey Brewer. Yeah. You remember Trey Brewer? He was a sure. Big moose. Absolutely. He one, one of these guys who, who, you know, who never really made it, but, you know, had all this potential. If you don't just, he thinks that the gurus, and I kind of agree with this a little bit. Yeah. He thinks that the gurus are ruining these guys and ruining him, especially, because they start, they start Stop filling up. your head, bro, I can make you, I can make you a pro, I can make you... You know, I can make you win the shows on this, on that. And what guys don't understand, what you guys got to understand is that, and, uh, you know, I actually just did a video about this. Uh, I didn't put it up yet. I was going to put it up. But, it, it, but not about this, but about something similar to this. What you guys don't understand is that I've sat with every one of these guys. I know all these gurus, okay? And if you talk to George Fowler, he'll sit there and tell you, dude, you got to have cards. You know, he gives you this whole spiel. If you talk to Dave Palumbo, he'll tell you, nah, you got to go, you know. Yeah. You know. <laughs> right. So what I'm, yeah, but what I'm saying to you is that Dallas McCarver is listening to Chad. And, you know, according to Sean Ray, Chad almost destroyed Ronnie Coleman. You know what I'm saying? And he, he's saying, you know, in the MD post, which Dave Palumbo sent me, he says, you know, to even he even says to McCarver, look, you got to fucking step back, quit, you know, just for now, why don't you just take some time off, get your body back to normal, because, you do, you know, he feels like his, his body's, like, really fucked, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Like, yeah, yeah. Because these gurus will kill you, you know what I mean? They, they do. They, they, they fuck with you a lot. And um, find what's right for you, he said. Don't, you know, and that's what I've been telling everybody for how long. That's what that, the new video that I'm going to be putting up, uh, I'm just going to put my mother-in-law story in there. But, uh, you know, it, it, that's what people don't understand, is that... Just because one guru, uh, uh, you know, works for this guy doesn't mean it's going to work for all guys. you got to find which one actually is right for your body. And that's kind of what Sean Ray was trying to say in a nutshell. But, that's you know, these God. guys are very temperamental. and They, they feel like, uh, you know what I'm saying? And I guess I don't really know Dallas McCarver. He's one of the new guys. Yeah. You know? But, so, I, you know, I guess he got really mad, told Sean Ray to his face, like, fuck you, don't talk to me no more, you know what I mean? Like, you know, uh, you know, like that kind of thing. And basically, Sean Ray was like, I guess we're, you know, we don't, we're, you know, we're not good, you know, we're not friends or any that shit anymore. And he just, you know, according to him, he destroyed the friendship. But that's, that's typical Sean Ray. Look what he said. How, how, Sean Ray was very close, even with Kevin LeBron. He's the first one to come out. When nobody else, when we were all, myself included, <laughs> Pumping Kevin LeBron up. He's the first there one to think that was like something. No, I, I agree, What's yeah. That? No, I, I'm I'm trying to so, I'm trying to multitask because I got that's why I want you gotta get on this feed, bro. We gotta by next show you gotta get that squared away. You gotta get on the feed because I can't it's hard for me to fucking to I'm trying to interact with these guys and talk to you at the same time and it's hard for me to do both, man. Um I, I agree. I you know to me Sean Ray, he's not a bodybuilder anymore. He was a great bodybuilder. I loved him when he was active. And I actually think he's a very good um, commentator. Not really journalist. He doesn't really write. But, I mean, what he does for MD, I think he's one of the best in the industry. I've said that numerous times. He and I have had personal differences, which even at the Arnold Classic, I told you in Ohio, we were talking backstage and uh, he kind of called me out on something and I called him back out on it and he realized that it probably wasn't what he thought it was. Uh, a Twitter thing between him, Bob Chick, and myself. Which, there's no 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 to get into it now. It's, you know, I'd rather talk about the subject right. at hand. It's more important. But I think people have to get, and I'm not taking Sean's side in this because I don't know Dallas either and Dallas seems like a good guy and what happened to him in Australia, you know, listen, I give him total credit for getting up on that stage when he was fully the fucking depleted, almost like the Mike Matarazzo thing with Bonham and stuff. It was like Guy Sistanina. If you read Guy's post, uh, you know, he fucking basically caught him and brought him backstage and laid him down and helped him and shit. So it's serious matter. 
And I give Dallas fucking thousand percent credit for fucking having the balls to get up there even when he felt like he was ready to hit the floor, which he almost did. But the thing is, listen, when the sports writer says fucking that, uh, you know, uh, Mark Teixeira it should retire because his days are done. Does Mark Teixeira say, well, fuck you, you can't talk to me anymore? You got to fucking, you know, listen, bodybuilders, if you want to be considered athletes, you got to fucking behave like one when the shit talk has come down on you. And then if the shit talking is a bunch of jerk offs online, that's different. I'm not talking about some idiots behind a fucking fake name. I'm talking about a fucking legitimate fucking guy with a media credential like Sean Ray is, especially with his fucking past. He know he's been there, done that. Even if he wasn't, if a guy like me who's never competed, but I'm a fucking writer, and I'm saying Dallas McCarver looked like shit at that Jim Mannion thing, which I don't listen. To be honest with you, I'm using that as an example. I didn't even watch it. I could give a fuck. It didn't it didn't fucking matter to my day at all. But if Sean Ray put that down and said that and then started talking shit about Chad maybe pushing him too far, that's Sean's opinion. And people got in. They could come back and make their videos and their posts about it, but you can't be, like, pissed, like, oh, how dare you fucking say that. That's his fucking job, Sean Ray, with MD. And you know what? It's our job to do the same thing. Now, if somebody fucking does something stupid out there and we call them out on it, does that mean that we're being dicks? No. This is this is we're covering the sport. Sean Ray's one of the best bodybuilders. You know, he's fucking whether you like him or not. I mean the guy he's fucking know, awesome. Yeah. He almost won the Olympia. I mean he's won the Arnold Classic. He's considered one of the greatest bodybuilders. So you gotta take what he says. You can't just sit there and, and, and why why I mean, you know, when you when you said about a reporter saying Mark Teixeira should he should he retire? Yeah. And shit. Yeah, if the if the reporter is fucking it's a is an ex like Joe Morgan said it or one of those guys who was you know, who was even a better ball player than yep. I mean I don't know Dallas McCarver from a hole in the ground. He's a big fucking guy. Everybody's big today. <laughs> the drugs today, everybody's big. But will he ever be as great a bodybuilder as Sean Ray? No. I don't think so. No. I mean, no. I don't know. You know what I mean? The genetic structure to Sean Ray is like comparing fucking, you know, apples and oranges to me. You know what I mean? It, it, you got, I mean, just because the guy's big doesn't mean, you know, it's a big lummox. You know what I mean? I, I, and I'm not dissing... Dallas McCarver, I don't know the guy. I'm just saying, you know, this guy's a legend. Sean Ray's a legend. You know what I mean? But even he if... knows what he's talking about. He's, he's not some internet guy. He's hiding behind a fucking screen name just talking shit, you know? But even if I mean, Sean Ray wasn't a bodybuilder, if he was just hired as a bodybuilding commentator, journalist, whatever the fuck you want to call it, and he was saying that, in his opinion, covering this sport, he felt that Dallas McCarver was not didn't impress anybody in that in the video, and I'm going to go back to that because that's where this whole fucking thing really stemmed from, then that's right. just, that's the way it is, man. It, it doesn't mean that he's right. That's his opinion. There are going to be people that agree with it. There are going to be people that disagree with it. But to make that to be where it's such a fucking big pissing match out of that, and I think a lot of people also, because the whole thing with Sean and Dave Palumbo happened just you know recently too, so a lot of people are saying, Sean's being a cunt and all of that stuff. And to me, I think the thing he did to Dave was a cunt fucking move. And it was an MDRX pissing match thing. I'm totally convinced of that. And I was fucking there the next day and I saw how the whole fucking thing was going down. And But this, to me, has nothing to do with that. But I think a lot of people are saying, oh, Sean Ray again. He's always, you know, he's always the guy causing trouble. He's not causing trouble when he's doing his job. When he's grabbing Ashkenani away from a fucking other interviewer, that's causing trouble. To me, hey, there's Jupiter Meach. What's up, sweetie? She's back. I love it. See, now we got girls in. Now we got to get Crystal in, too. Guys, if you want to call up and hear your voice talking instead of just me and Gregorio's voice, 646-716-5317 is our caller number. I'll click you right on. We'll hear your voice. You can talk a little bit. You can call us fucking cocks, whatever you want. You can tell us your opinion on the Sean Ray Dallas McCarver thing. To me, um... Dallas McCarver has a great future. I think he's the type of bodybuilder that if the future of the division is like this, I love this show live. Thanks, Watcher 6. We'd like it too. I'm going to try to do this every week, bro. If if Dallas McCarver, that type of guy, is the future of this division, I think it's going to be an interesting one in the, in the next few years when the guys like a Phil Heath step down and obviously uh, Kai Green and stuff like that. The next wave of bodybuilders, Dallas McCarver is right there with these guys. 
you know, so with the Comptons and with the, the Morels and stuff like that. So he's got a great fucking future. And I, I this thing, it's it, to me, it, it's it's stupid. To, you don't need to be mad at a guy like Sean Ray because he said that he thought you fucking weren't at your best. You know, use it as fucking fuel. Right, Greg? Use it as fuel to fucking blow up the next time around and look like you're fucking I killing it. Years than he'll ever have in his life. I don't give a shit. You know what yeah. I mean? To be honest with you. You know what I mean? Right? I mean, not for nothing. You know? It, it, it's, it's, there's nothing you can do. You're not going to get rid of haters. That's part of the sport. And bro, if you, get up, if you get up there and you don't look good, you can't fucking say, you know, I mean, it, it is what it is. You know, it's just, you know, you got to take it with a grain of salt. You know, it's fucking, it is what it is, bro. Now, the yeah, one... I killed everybody that fucking talked about me, talked shit about me, they didn't <laughs> to me The one thing I did find interesting, now I was trying to, I'll call in for sure when we're talking about Jason again. Okay, no problem. Um, let's get her voice on. Let's talk about Jason, let's switch the subject. Jason Genova, no, <laughs> um, We'll talk about Jason again. Now, nah, call now. That's it, there you go, Mark Teller, there you go. Um... I saw a post now, I, I think it was on the RX uh, feed, I don't know if this is true or not, but they said that Aaron Singerman said that uh, he feels Sean Ray should be, because uh, Dallas is one of the Redcon fucking guys that signed to them, sponsored by Aaron's company, and like he said, people should tell Steve Blackman to fire Sean Ray, and here's Steve Blackman's email address, which he never sees anyway. I don't know how he gets it now since Kristen quit. I don't know how Steve and Amanda must no, be printing that's everything ridiculous. out. Ridiculous! But you fired a guy because he talked. No. What if he talked good about him? Then he gets to stay. Yeah. Okay. No, but that's ridiculous. no. Listen, I don't know if it's I true like or not. No, I don't know if it's. I don't know if it's true I or not. Like Aaron. I, I do Aaron too. On Dave's show. I like Aaron a lot too. Dave and I were talking before. I like Aaron. But, but on, they're their that's only ridiculous. fucking. That's their own high tech and fucking Redcon and their only real fucking. Advertisers, so Matt Blackman's face, if that is true, when he did read that. Uh, what do you think I should do, guys? What do you think? Brian, no, what would you never, do? Never. <laughs> Blackman knows better than that. He would never fire Sean, ever. Did you, uh. He wouldn't fire Sean. I mean. Did you see that MD ridiculous. brought in fucking Lou Ferrigno and he's gonna write a column? Oh, please. He ain't gonna write shit. <laughs> <laughs> Lou Ferrigno. Big Louie is part of Muscular Development. They can't fucking pay their workers, but they can bring somebody else in. Joe, what was the feud between Sean and Kevin? What was it about him competing? Sean and Kevin. Kevin Lavone? Oh, I think from last year. Well, Sean, I think Sean said uh, at the time Kevin was stupid. Yeah, not stupid, but nuts for coming back yeah, or whatever. No it's just that he's still friends. Yeah, yeah. Well, they're friends, and his friend said, I don't think he should. I asked Joe. Joe, give me give me your opinion on what you think. What do you, you think? Know, yeah. I'm, I'm getting ready for a show, and Joe tells me, "Bro, you look like you're flat, or you don't look like you're gonna do." That's basically what it is. Yeah, he yeah. Once said, "Don't compete. Your legs, your legs suck. You're gonna get killed." That's shouldn't really do it for his half. That's yeah. Evan Lower just said he shouldn't do it. That was also because obviously Sean uh, knew that Kevin would have to fucking just start fucking pinning like an animal. Kevin's part of the Camel Crew now. He went to Kuwait, so I can just imagine. How he's gonna look when he comes back, bro? You know what's gonna fucking. I, I, ho I hope for his sake, health wise, he can fucking you know do all right. You know, because those they ain't fucking playing with fucking you know candy over there. So, but uh, that's a, that's another fucking day. But uh, yeah, man, I, I I got a kick out of seeing that Lou Ferrigno is gonna be doing videos and also great news, Greg. Just like we have this podcast, which is now kind of like a podcast slash video vlogcast or whatever. Yeah. It's, it's more of a video cast. Ron Harris, the new editor in chief, I guess trying to get his hundred thousand that Blackman owes him, put a thread up and he said they're bringing MD Radio back, and it's going to be himself, Sean, and Peter McGuff. And they're going to take turns, like two out of three will be doing it. I guess somebody will have a week off. I guess like kind of like Ron Darling, Keith Hernandez, and fucking Gary Cohen at the SNY Mets booth. Dude, that's like, but dude, bro, people, people are saying, guys, with all of this shit going on, you guys are just going to do an audio. Can't you just do video? So then Ron goes, well, we'll probably do a video. It'll be like a Skype thing. All of a sudden he changed it. It wasn't MD radio anymore. Nah, I, I fucking honest, laugh my balls off. Guys aren't going to talk about bodybuilding and fucking drugs. They're going to sit there talking about competitive. Body. Do you guys really give a fuck? 
sit there and like, oh my God, Brandon Ray won a show. Kids, I mean, it was, really, I, I'm sorry, but who gets a flying fuck, you know? I, I mean, Thank you, I don't know, God. those guys should, I'll fall asleep during shit like that. If I can't sleep, I'll put that fucking show on and I'll fucking fall asleep. <laughs> Who the fuck went to hear about pro bodybuilding all day, all night? Like, I got a fucking life. That's the uh, last of my fucking shit, you know what I mean? Remember when you and I did I MD know, radio I, that time? Remember me and you did MD yeah, radio when Sean was in the airplane? He couldn't sure do it. I remember. We didn't talk about competitive bodybuilding. <laughs> we had fun. No, we took a, dude, you gotta have fun. You gotta, bodybuilding should be entertaining. Otherwise, dude, who can sit to a whole bodybuilding show <laughs> and watch guy after guy after guy pose? That would make me crazy. I mean, it's not like the old days. It's different today, too. They all, they all try to fucking, you know, break dance up there and do other bullshit. It's like, oh, please. And when you see white guys doing it, I really want to fucking gag. You uh, know what I mean? It's just like, you know, yeah. it's not the same. Corny as hell, bro. But, Greg, I have, to, I have to admit, I enjoyed your new video that you have. Guys, if you have not checked out um, Greg Valentino YouTube channel, Greg's new YouTube video, he covers a lot, and it's 10 minutes long, but it's a fucking, fucking full 10 minutes. I mean, you get, you covered the, uh, the MD, the MSM party, you covered the fucking Generation Iron, and you covered the Ramblin' Freak movie, all in one video. So definitely, guys, go to Greg Valentino on YouTube, subscribe first, and then go to that video, fucking like it, and comment. And while you're on YouTube... Thank you. Nah, no problem. While you're on YouTube... Do the fucking same thing for Muscle Sport Mag, uh, Muscle Sport TV. What do you guys think of Flex Wheeler coming back, Coach Mike Rod? Well, we spoke about this a little bit last week. Uh, I think it's insane. I think Lavone was nuts for doing it, but fucking Wheeler, with the health issues and the kidney, with the car accident and all of that shit that he went through, I think he's out of his mind. He didn't like my video, my Muscle Sport Minute uh, official. Flex Wheeler gave me a, a you know said something on commented on my video. I didn't shit on the guy. I was I was just saying, well, he said something like, oh, everybody's got an opinion like an asshole. They all have one, but they all stink. Whatever. I don't know, something that nonsense like that. But basically... We all got two kidneys, too. Yeah, well... <laughs> we all got two kidneys. All I said was, I think that he's fucking crazy for doing it because of the health issues. And I think coming back in classic physique is just fucking... To me, I, I think classic physique sucks fucking ball bags. It's fucking horrendous. So... To me, if Flex is going to come back, he's not going to come back and win the Olympia. So he doesn't have to come back and be bigger than fucking Kai Green type of bodybuild. All he has to do is be his best him. Like Kevin Lerone. If Kevin tries to fucking come in to beat the guys like Phil and Kai, he's going to kill himself. And that's probably what he's doing in fucking Oxygen Gym. Hopefully he's smarter than that, though. So if Flex comes back and he's just streamlined and looks good for his age... Everybody's going to think it's a great fucking comeback. It, it, no matter where he finishes and places, I think it's all has to do with his Generation Iron contract and his Black Skull contract. Listen, money dangling yeah. in front of you, bro, it's, you know, people suck strangers' cocks for money. <laughs> so people do things for money. Dude, for the right amount of money, I blow you right on Instagram fucking... Greg will blow me for the right... Okay, we're going to start a fucking GoFundMe page. Greg blows Joe. <laughs> right? <laughs> and if I told my girlfriend, yo, I can make a lot of money blowing Joe, you know what you'd say? Get your ass over there. We need the money. Get your ass over there. Blow Joe. Now, if a girl said, I'll blow you, it's hard for me to say no. But a guy, I got to fucking, you know, I'm not homo, so... I heard a funny fucking thing. Who was it? It was some fucking... Oh, it was Artie Lang. Remember we had Artie Lang on the radio show? I remember talking right? to Artie. Yeah, Artie Lang, who just got locked up for fucking drug possession again. Fucking guy. He's a fucking mess. But he, he said... In he's a mess, yeah. Artie said something. They played it on... Uh, I don't know if it was on sports radio or I missed in the morning this morning. A little clip of him. And he goes, it's so like common now place being, you know, fucking homosexual that if you're not, it's gay. And I, it was fucking hysterical, just like what he fucking said. I, and I just started laughing, thinking about the, when we had him on the show. He was a fucking mess, too, man. It was like 2 o'clock in the afternoon, yeah. remember? He sounded like he just fucking woke up. Not only that, but he sounded like fucking... He was definitely rocking some drugs, man. Oh, he what was he fucking... He had the opiates or something going. He was strung out, yeah. He was definitely fucked up. Yeah, he was fucking... He gave everyone no, wait, the best oral tips last week. <laughs> 
Well, I just I just have to say thank you, Jupiter. We all know what to do. <laughs> but, but I'm just saying for Flex Wheeler, he probably got it. Joe, if you get blown, you're not gay. Okay, it's only if you're giving the blow job, right? Mark, that's so <laughs> I don't know. There may have been a fucking, you know, uh, a, a hooker or two. No, I won't go there. I'm not, it's the blower who's gay. Yeah, they always say that. Like, if you can suck your own dick, does that make you gay? And my answer always was, only if you're enjoying the taste portion of it, not the feel portion of it. So it's like, well, you jerk, you jerk off. You're not jerking the guy off. You're jerking yourself, you know. So, I, but I, it's a little different with... with, with wait, 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 wait. Listen to me. <laughs> Like, oh, oh, I love them. And they laugh. But if somebody else farted, it's horrible. You like your own farts. Does that mean you like the smell of farts? No, you like your own. Because cause it's fucking what I'm saying to you. So if you suck your own dick, first of all, you're my hero. Because that yeah. means you got a fucking monster dick. You know what I'm saying? And even though I'm pretty fucking good by it, by the way, down there, because otherwise <laughs> you don't fucking keep a Latin girl as long as I've had. You know, they don't tolerate little dicks. But, uh, oh, fuck. Tolerate little dicks. But the thing is, yo, to, I mean, to be able to suck your own dick, especially if you're jacked, if you're a bulky guy, if you're some skinny fucking 110 pound guy, you can throw your legs over your head, you know. Yeah. You yeah. like fucking contortions. Anybody can suck their dick. But when you're fucking jacked and you can do it, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah, yeah. Fucking, That's my thoughts smell like unicorn, glitter, and roses. Jupiter, I would fucking love to find out. I'm sure it's like a bed of fucking roses. Who's Jupiter now? That's Jupiter is the sweet, good-looking young lady that's friends with Jason Genova. Oh, okay. Okay. But, I, thought, I thought it was a dude. I'm over here like... No, no, I no. I'm talking to some guy saying you want to smell his farts. I'm like, hey, fucking Joe, what happened to you? <laughs> you know? But, Greg, I must oh, admit, Christ. there was one time in my life my dick's the size of a newborn baby's belly button. <laughs> Luke, a.k.a. Stench. There was a time in my life, I believe I was in my early teens, where I gave it the greatest effort, and I actually was able to get the helmet in my mouth, just to see if I could do it. It wasn't enough to make it a suction type of thing, but I was flexible, and I was a lot younger. <laughs> I'm the best-looking dude in this bitch. Protect and lift. Matt, you're a good looking dude. <laughs> but so I I was able to get it and I'm not packing anything special down there. I mean it's just your average fucking cock. I almost crashed my car. <laughs> Unicorn are like sloppy blowjobs, holy fuck. But I was able to get it and so I felt very good about that. And when I was younger, I used to brag about it. Like, I used to tell my friends, you can't do it. I'm like, yeah, I can. They're like, well, nobody was like, let me see, because that's gay. I mean, yeah, let me see if you can do it. Well, that went from zero to 100 real quick. <laughs> Damn, <dude. laughs> I don't think they're enjoying our self-fellatio talk right now, Greg. Let's talk about drugs. They love that Let's talk game. about drugs. Yeah. <laughs> 90 seconds. Oh, wait. I, I didn't... I think I fucked up. I didn't put this as an hour show. So if we lose this, I'm going to come back on. Greg, you're going to have to call back in. I think I put it for a half right. hour. You know why? Because I had to do this fucking quick last night. Uh, yeah. Well, well, we know what? We can do a stream. Fuck it. No, I'll just let it stream. Doesn't matter. Oh. Sucking my own dick is out. I have a bad back. Now I do too, so I'm done. I'm not supposed to enjoy talking <laughs> about blowjobs, gear, and farts. Yes, you are. Of course you are. All right, let's talk about eating fucking pussy, man. How about that? Stick a nap, 50 on let's the... Let's talk about juice. I, these guys want to know about juice. I let's know talk about They're juice. About when you take juice, it makes your dick much bigger, and it's easier to reach <laughs> when you try to suck it. <laughs> oh, man. Great show, Joe. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Drugs are fun. Ha, ha, ha. Oh, fuck. Get her on talking about eating a <laughs> Trent Malone sandwich. <laughs> Dude, the countdown is on. It's a phone in prison. I'm, thankfully, I don't know that. <laughs> Juice. A lot of... It, it, just, they're, yeah, going, they're scrolling so quick, these fucking comments. I'm trying to read them. I won't talk about that. Dude stuff only. All right, Jupiter, I'm going to ask you a dude question now. <laughs> 
if your boyfriend says, can you eat my ass, are you in for that? Because that is a good fucking girl if she is. You know, she may not take it up the ass, but if she takes care of his ass and gets that fucking prostate going, that's that's a very important part of fucking... <laughs> what other guests do you guys have in the future? <laughs> Who the fuck cares about guests? We got you guys out there, bro. Yes, Jupiter, I love you. Are you single? Because I'm not, but maybe we can just fucking, like, make believe. <laughs> Real men eat ass. If I don't, someone else will. There you go. Now, you know what just... True. Real men eat ass. When you got, hey, here's Crystal. Wait, I want to ask these guys. Hey, let, we're can the potty talk for a minute. Let me ask you a question. Do you guys do you guys hide the fact that you do juice from your girl? Like, or, no, I hate that shit. Bro. Not at all. I I rule the fucking house like a fucking lion. You know, my girl knows as much as you know. I talk shit and everything about my girlfriend. She knows, bro. I'll fuck it if she told me don't take it. I don't want you doing steroids or any shit. I'd be like, Pwah! I'll shoot her right in front of her. I'll shoot her with this shit. You know what I mean? My I'll wife down and give her a shot at that. My wife threatens to fucking take it out and then put fucking olive oil in there because my sex drive is way too high because of the shit. And I tell her I'll fucking kill her. I inject my boyfriend's butt. With a strap on or with a fucking juice? <laughs> Bodybuilders are very strange. If you're hiding your steroids, you're a bitch. I have never, ever... I'd, before I was able to do it myself, I used to have her fucking pin my ass. Then I was like, fuck this. I, if I can't do this myself, I'm a fucking faggot. So I fucking, I fucking just did it my own. But I would never be like, oh, I, I can't hide... No, listen... Uh, you know, I will admit one thing, Greg. I hid steroids from my parents when I did them when I was a teenager. <laughs> when I was 18, now, I, 19. See me, I didn't do anything when I was a I didn't start steroids until I was 35, but I don't give a shit. I would not let any fucking girl tell me that, like, you know, or hide that. How many guys come to me, dude, I can't, shh, you know, they'll be talking about testosterone or something in the gym, and they'll be like, shh, go away, my girlfriend's coming. Don't let her know, I can't let her know. Oh, and I'm like, you fucking pussy. Well, a pair of balls. Don't ask me any more questions. That's fucking, you're a pussy if you, can't, if you gotta do that shit. Come on, man. That's ridiculous. That means, that means you ain't the lion, man, at the house. I can no, say that. I snort creates. Oh, I took your advice, Greg. I've been doing all delts. I remember when I had that knot on my ass when we were recording the show last time and I couldn't sit good. <laughs> oh, yeah, don't shoot. Guys, guys, all you guys out there, don't shoot your fucking don't ass. Don't shoot your ass. You get a big ass. No, I know. You get a big ass when you shoot in the end. Shoot the delts. If you went to a doctor, right, and a doctor was to give you like a tetanus shot or anything, he didn't say pull down your pants, he shoots you in the shoulder. Fuck that shit. Yeah, but you know what? You gotta see the asses in some of these bodybuilders, bro, up close. Holy Christ. It's like a horse. When I, too big. That's ridiculous. When I was getting TRT at the doctor, the nurse used to do it in my ass cheek. Nah, that's, that's no good. Well, that's, I don't, you that's know, no listen. Good. Don't do that shit. It Injection was, site swell. You better have your fucking shoulders. Veins gonna grow. You better have shoulders, man. Fuck that. Yeah. I would never shoot my ass. Ever. And and another I thing. Really tried shoot. I, another smart okay. move I did, I went smaller. I was doing fucking 21 gauge, one and a half. And I went down to 20 and 1. That 1 and a half Dude, fucking eight. hurt like a <laughs> cocksucker, bro. <laughs> I used an 18 gauge once. I swear to <laughs> God. I, I like to get it in there and cut the shit. You know what I mean? I'll use a nail. I don't care. That's just me, though. See, Green. Caleb, you in on this thing? I didn't see your name scrolling. Caleb, I, 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 got, I was going to text him today. That fucking arm, oh, man, that fucking blows what happened to him. You see what happened to Big C, Greg? No, what happened? He broke his he broke his fucking arm, man. How? I'm not sure. I don't know. He posted a thing on fucking. Yo, what's up, Caleb? You'll get you'll bounce hey, back Piana fast, got bro. At him. He, he wanted you know he wanted another T-shirt from Piana, and Piana said, "Fuck no." <laughs> <laughs> only well, one you want from me? You only get five percent. Only one T-shirt per fucking athlete. <laughs> Oh, but that sucks. Caleb, you'll that, that shit'll fucking heal, man. Don't worry about it. How did you break it? Ask him how he broke it. What did he do? I don't know. Maybe maybe he doesn't want to say. Greg wants to know how you broke it, man. Yo, Matt, be good, man. Thanks for checking in. Hit by a car. Ooh. Holy shit. Oh shit. Was your girlfriend driving? 
Was your girlfriend driving? See. Was she hit with the car? Was she hit with the car? That fucking sucks, though, man. Uh, and it was a pretty bad break. He put the fucking X-ray up on the uh, on the Instagram. Oh, fuck, hit and run drunk driver. I was on the sidewalk. Oh, I hope they lock this cocksucker oh, up. Oh shit! Where do you live? Where, where, where do you live? He's in, he's in Florida. Oh, he's in Florida. Yeah, yeah. Holy All our friends are in Florida. Florida. We got we got to go down to Florida for a weekend. All our guys are down there. Oh, I've never my life. How, the, how the fuck have you never been in Florida, bro? I swear to God, I've never been in Florida. Never even saw who I've it was. A, oh, shit. They fucking, they hit you with the car and kept going. That is fucking horrible. Wait a minute, bro. wait a minute, Joe. Rich Piano is in Florida. Maybe it was him. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Piano, go look at his car. See if there's a smudge on Piano's car. <laughs> I don't know, he was supposed to be in fucking uh, tell Jupiter to come to Jacksonville, Florida, and take care of me. Jupiter, <laughs> Jupiter, go. To, Caleb is a big, younger-looking guy. Unlike myself, I can't tie my shoelaces right now. There's worse things to not be able to do: masturbate, wipe your ass, things like that. No, I think I think uh, Piana. We could uh, we could eliminate him as a suspect because he was. Um, Australia, I don't know when this happened with Caleb. It was a few days ago I saw the post, but uh, they were all in uh, wow. TRT for a 55-year-old. Of course, Ageless Iron, you should have started 20 years ago. <laughs> if you hey, heard my hey, voice, you wouldn't love me beat, anymore. Bro. I'm going to be 57, so. You should go on grandpafucker.com. <laughs> You should go on grandpafucker.com, somebody said. <laughs> I should. Oh, that's... I'm 26 years Well, I I'm think they meant both of us. Girl. Say hi to Greg, Ageless Iron. Hi, Greg from Ageless Iron. I got to call in sometime. Up, Corey, Iron. call in right now. You're never too old. What never did you guys old, think man. of the Arnold in Australia? Uh, well, I thought Brandon Curry's uh, time in Kuwait definitely helped him. I think he's a fucking, you know, I always liked Brandon Curry. I wrote his column in Flex for a little while, so I, I got to know him from there. Did I? I think it, no. Brandon Ray, I used to write. I always mix those two fucking guys up. But Brandon Curry's a cool guy too, though. That's what I'm thinking of, Brandon Ray. Yeah, no, but Curry is. Uh, yeah, Brandon Ray hasn't competed in a while. I think he's coming back this year. But um, Brandon Curry, uh, I liked him. I've interviewed him before. He's a nice guy, and I uh, I always thought he had a lot of potential. The prodigy, they call. It. They always thought he had, you know, the prodigy. He was gonna come up and it's he's won a couple of shows he won that Arnold that uh in Brazil when Cedric got uh you know disqualified for missing the meeting and Brandon won that show and now he's got this win and he's top 10 in the Olympia before and stuff so he's not no fucking slouch hey Joe greetings from my hey Paul Curry man what's up man I got a show I got it uh, next week Paul I promise I'll put the pictures here I got them in another room and I'll fucking hold them up and I'll show them Paul sent me some nice fucking black and white pictures of some fucking pros. Great fucking shots, man. I'm going to display them. He said, say hi to Greg. Greg's thoughts on Flex Wheeler. We were just talking about that a little bit. Greg, what do you think about Flex coming back? You think it's good or bad or indifferent? I mean, if he wants to come back, you know, I just I just think that if I had kidney <laughs> sure. problems, I wouldn't do it. You know what I mean? But if he wants to come back, power to him. You know, I'm all for yeah. whatever he wants to do. If he I, wants to do it, you know, you can't, you can't stop him, you know what I mean? No, no. I'm, I'm, I'm all for it. If he wants to do it, I'm, I, I'm all behind it, but I wouldn't do it if it was me. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I know. I think that uh, it's, you know, I, I don't want to go back over it. Keep up the amazing work. Thank you. Thank you so much, Paul. You too, man. Victor Martinez. We love Victor Thanks, Martinez. Paul. Greg should come back. They want you to come back as a bodybuilder on stage. Watch your six wants you to come back. Masters Olympia. I'll, I'll be back. I'll be back when they have an overweight class. <laughs> overweight class. <laughs> no, I'm not Thoughts I on Justin good. Compton? It, I think Justin Compton, like I said before, he's one of these guys that's the future of the division, the Open. I think he's got to gotta go, Momo's Midnight's tonight. Oh, graveyard shift. Tell Greg answer my email. All right, man. Thanks, Mark. Um... Barbell uh, said to hit him oh, up on okay. the email. 
Be safe, bros. You be safe. You're the one out there protecting our fucking asses. We're talking about fucking sucking our own dicks here. <laughs> um, Compton, he's the type of guy that he's got so much potential. He's probably going to win some good shows going up. I don't see him as an Olympia winner, but I see him as a uh, Kevin's doing Vancouver. Yeah, he's probably going to win that, I think. I don't know what the lineup is, but coming back from Kuwait, if he's healthy... Ron Jeremy. Yes, Ron Jeremy can suck his own dick, but he doesn't have to fucking be a gymnast to do it. It's such a fucking... I actually saw Ron Jeremy in Las Vegas one time. We were uh, coming... Uh, I forget which hotel that was. One of those big fucking nice, expensive hotels we were coming out of. And he was actually walking in with two gorgeous blondes, one on each arm. It was like such a cliche thing, but it was true. And it was like, holy shit, there's Ron Jeremy. You know, me and my friend, we were, on the, we were down there doing work for the sports magazine back then like in 06 or whatever. My arms are so dead and pumped from that workout, Big C. There you go. Well, fucking Big C's a big dude, so his workouts are going to work. There's a Momo t-shirt. Greg is looking to do them out. I'm out, Joe. Talk to you soon about Goliath. All right, be good, Comerica. I can't. They're fucking going so quick. This, this is great. We're getting a great... Guys, we love this fucking response. Corey, we will see you at the uh, Vegas and Olympia time. You're the news on a Momo. What's the news on a Momo shirt? I don't know. Greg will update us on that. What's up from Maryland? What's going on? USMC. God bless, bro. Not Momo yet. Fucking USMC. Fucking total fucking respect for the cops and the military on this fucking program. We are unlike the Obama administration. The exact opposite. You can scroll back, Joe. I know, but if I do that, I'm going to fucking knock this fucking phone. I got it on this stupid tripod fucking thing, and it's kind of... Dangling, Semperfy, nice. Ron Jeremy offered me come at any AVN when I work for security for Lisa Ann. I don't know who Lisa Ann is, but I bet you I would eat her ass. If <laughs> she needed security, her ass needs eating. <laughs> I am neglecting my child to watch this. Don't do that, Jupiter. That's not good. Thoughts on what Sean Ray did to Dave at the Arnold's? It was a scumbag move. I like Sean Ray. I think he's great, but I think what he did to Dave was a pussy scumbag move. Jupiter, thank you, sweetheart. Thank you for coming in. I love you, too. See you next time. They're all leaving us, Gregorio. We got about 20 minutes left. 20 minutes. We got to do the commercials before then, but we shall continue conversation for the time being. Um, so, Greg, uh, what was I going to yep. say? The fucking um, Arnold Brazil... That the, if any of you guys out there, Arna Brazil, who was talking about it last week when Caramello was on here, that's in April. It's coming up in a few weeks. We're going to have the Muscle Sport Mag booth there that the Brazilian guys are going to be fucking, the guys in Brazil, are going to be fucking working out of. We won't be there. We'll be there in spirit, I guess. But that should be really cool. So Muscle Sport Magazine, Muscle Sport Media now, is... Uh, it's, it's, it's growing like a weed, Greg, right? Wouldn't you say? I would say it's kicking ass, Joseph. <laughs> I would definitely say it's kicking ass. It's worldwide. Look, worldwide. Ass. World fucking wide. And we're going to oh, be yeah, recording... Bro. I wish I was going to fucking Brazil. I wish I was going to Brazil, too. I would smell Not every no fucking seat. Fucking seat. Contest, though. They better have a Brazilian <laughs> bubble contest at the <laughs> Is there one ass in the whole fucking country that's not just completely gorgeous? Right? I don't think there's a Are bad you ass. Me? Yeah, in, in Brazil, every. Have you ever seen Adina's ass? Well, she's well, I, she's not from Brazil though. She's from what was it, Carlith, Texas, or some shit somewhere, some fucking town of about sixteen fucking Dude, people. Who would you rather bang, fucking? Whoopi Goldberg or Angela Merkel? <laughs> wow. That is a fucking pick your poison. I would have Did to... You ever play those games with your friends? You gotta oh, yeah, them. yeah. I, I love those games, yeah. I would go with Merkel. Probably just because... I, I might uh, too, even though that's bad. I, I would want her to hear... Uh, everyone should repost Muscle Sport Magnus and Greg for Greg and Joe. Have. Thank you. Love it. Lord Vader wants Whoopi. Who wrote that? I'm going to scroll back. Liliaz.ali. Thank you, my friend. Appreciate it. Everybody's taking Whoopi. Um, is Greg and I the only ones that's going to bang the fucking Kraut Dyke looking bitch? We should sell steroids in our magazine. Wait, 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 wait. Listen, right, I got one for you guys. <laughs> okay. Who would you rather bang? Ariana Grande 
or fucking <laughs> Selena Gomez. Ariana Grande Ariana or Selena Grande. Gomez. You First know, of all, Ariana Grande is 100 percent Italian, but I, she's a, she's a little bitch. But I, I, that's the one who I would pick. Um, I, know I love Selena. Gomez. You know what? They're fucking. I used to watch those kiddie shows with my kids, and they were. But they, even when they were younger, you could see that they were going to be fucking smoking. Wow. I probably would go with Selena Gomez. And I, see, not me. Ariana Grande. She's I like them both. I like, them. I like them both. Now, how about, let me think. I'm trying to think. It's more funny to do the Merkel types. Um, <laughs> Adina Zanoli. Right, Judge Judy hey, what's up, Robert? Merkel. Judge Judy or who? Judge Judy, I would fuck her. The Italian chick till she got a mustache. She's not that old yet. Yeah. She's taking a lot of fucking cock, though. That fucking uh, uh, grande. She seems to be, she's a little bit of a whore. Oh, she's a, dude, I mean, I, I like the way she looks, but she's one of them fucking anti-Trump fucking complainers. Yeah, and, yeah. You know, one of these millionaires that lives in mansions. And she, she's so fucking lazy. She wanted to hire a guy to carry her. Like, she sits on her shoulders and take her wherever she wants to go because she'll feel like oh, walking. That's a true story. And they say she's a nasty bitch in person, too. So, fuck it. I don't know. Yeah. I, I would fucking... But I'm just going by the way she looks. Yeah. I'll give her spam, bro. You know what spam is, right? Yep. Ham in the can. In the can. She'll love me for, for it, too. Those she'll fucking... She'll love me in the morning. I bet you those fucking girls are... Like, they're probably, like... I bet you they're not as good in fucking bed as they, as you, you know, it'll probably be a disappointment, but it would be such a great disappointment just to know it. <laughs> Who cares how good they are in bed? I would probably come in two seconds just knowing because I'm like, fucking girl, that fucking 25 years, my junior. She has a concert on Joe, Vancouver. Me, my daughter is going. I, I got one for you, Joe, that I want to ask you about too, by the way. In, uh, speaking of Australia, they had a big powerlifting event, and this girl named Laurel Hubbard who was a transgender woman, won the fucking female powerlifting thing. Okay. I, I just think that's out of control. I, I mean, if you want to be transgender, that's <laughs> fine. But you sh shouldn't, you know, even Fallon, whatever the fuck her name is, you, you shouldn't be able to, you know, I'm not against that shit, but I'm, I'm just saying, you can't be competing against women when you're genetically, like, this Laurel Hubbard thing looks like a fucking <laughs> dude anyway. But I mean, she's gross, bro. You know what I'm saying? Oh, crazy she, hawk. She looks like Smelly Bell and drag, and that's not good. You know what I mean? Rock girls like Lita Ford. I saw Lita Ford not too long ago at a Twisted Sister concert, and I'm obviously showing my age that I went to a Twisted Sister concert, but I love that shit. And Lita Ford came on stage and sang a song with uh, D. Snyder, and she didn't look bad at all. You can see there was mileage Dude, on the bitch. Dude, she looks like D. Snyder. I wouldn't fuck her. I wouldn't fuck her with a goddamn baseball bat, bro. I wouldn't go near that shit. Really? I'd eat her ass. We're not even nah. thinking about it. Now, here's a, me, here's a good question. If there, was a, if there was a transgender and you knew it was a guy, but now it looks like a chick, would you have a problem banging it? Not at all. Me neither. If would, she was hot. Would you eat the, she was hot. Would you eat the fucking inverted cock, now pussy? <laughs> I don't know. I fucking don't. <laughs> I fucking don't. <laughs> Does Greg wish he would have banged Long Jean Silva? Who's Long Jean Silva? Who is that? Who knows that? Wait, how does this guy know about that? I don't know. It's... Oh, wait a minute. I think I put it... Yeah, I talked about it in MD once. Oh, who, my God. Who is Long Jean? I Jean's... was with her, and my friend was with Susie Nero. I don't know either yeah. one. Who are they? Yeah, Long Jean Silver. She had a fucking peg leg. One leg is fucking cut off the bottom. Of, you know what I'm That's saying? That's all right. Remember and the Sopranos? Guy's ass is Remember Tony Soprano uh, was banging the fucking... The Russian broad with one leg? She was the yeah, nurse for Uncle Junior. You're, you're talking about maybe 1982. You know what I mean? It was a long time ago. 81, 82. I, it was a long time ago I was with her. I romped around with her. So you could have banged her, but she wanted to stick the peg leg up your ass? Yeah, she wanted. She would have stuck it up my ass. If I wanted it, she would have done that. If you want. It wasn't yeah, part of the deal. It too. wasn't if you could uh, let you bang me, but I have to do this as a payment. Like, it wasn't part of the deal. Well, that was her. I don't know if she got kick kicks out of it or not, but that was her thing. I would. You know I mean? like <laughs> and, and, and other chicks would try. Yeah, but I, you know, I mean, holy Christ. But she was really cute when she was young. I think she's a beast now. I don't know. Oh. You know, dude, this is like, how does this guy know? Is, 
Did this guy read this in my column? I don't this know. a long time ago. That shit was... I forgot I even wrote about it. Half the column... By the way, did you get my column today? Yes, I did. Thank you. I did get your call. I haven't had a chance to even open it, bro. I've been buzzing, busy as a cocksucker's cock before this show. I had so much shit to do, and I, once we're done with the show, I got to get back on the fucking the schneid and do more shit. But uh, Paul Cullen says you should come to Ireland. The ladies would love you there. Imagine Greg wearing one of those fucking sweaters and this misty mountaintop. <laughs> My wife's half Irish, so yeah, she's got Irish. She's half Guinea, half Mex, so she has traits of both. So I both turn me on. I mean, I fucking, you know, I got no problem with either one. Tell I my used brothers and sisters in Ireland. I used hey man, tell my said hello. I used to bang this, bro. I used to bang this fucking potato broad back in fucking Marine Park, Brooklyn. She was younger than me. I was probably in my mid to late twenties, ginger loving. I yeah I I actually in hedonism I ate a ginger pussy one time on the beach at night it was great, um, but uh. Dude, I kissed Lindsay Lohan. She's fucking. She's a ginger. Yeah, the real Lindsay Lohan or all Lindsay Lohan. No, Lindsay. <laughs> the the real, real Lindsay Lohan. But fucking uh, King of Vegas. Thanks, my friend. Appreciate. It. Um, what was I saying? Oh, the girl I used to bang. She was a uh, real. Yeah. I mean, Irish is the fucking day is long. Milky white skin. Bro, she was like 19, 20 years old. And I wasn't that much older than her. But I was used to banging all the fucking older broads. I used to always go for the older broads. And this one, I said, there's no way in a million years. My friend was hitting on her friend. I hit on her just like as a backup, like a wingman kind of thing. And I ended up fucking, right. you know, fucking taking her home. And I was banging her. She lived not too far from me. I was banging her for a couple of fucking months when I had my old apartment in that area in Brooklyn. And holy fuck, man, this girl was an animal. And all she wanted was a couple of beers. <laughs> didn't have to take her out. It was great. I'm not into, yeah, but I'm not into the ginger thing, bro. I like the dark She wasn't a ginger, Irish. actually. Yeah, she actually had, like, I like brownish hair. But she just was so fucking, like, milky white skin. And back then, that's when they had the pussy hair. So, you know, <laughs> it was nice. And, oh, I, it was a I good like contrast, the dark pussy hair. You all bro, teach... I'm not so what range? Is, what rep range is the best for the bulking? Guy. We're talking about eating what fucking happened? assholes now. Fuck bulking. <laughs> the only thing I want to bulk Dude, is I want to. Like, I want blood in my like fucking engorged here, top. Right? We're talking about potty shit. And, holy Christ! Hey, you know what though? Shot. We're gonna go quickly for a break now because I want to make sure we get the fucking merches in. So we'll be back after this quick word or two. In a world of advanced bodybuilding supplementation, the numbers don't lie. In fact, Iron Mag Labs is among the fastest growing hardcore supplement companies in the world. In fact, when it comes to no-nonsense, cutting-edge products, nobody delivers results like Iron Mag Labs. In fact, the Iron Mag Labs line of innovative formulation has set a new industry standard with products that are helping world-class bodybuilders reach levels they never thought possible. Iron Mag Labs is a proud supporter of bodybuilders everywhere. Discover the most hardcore bodybuilding supplements on the market. Visit IronMagLabs.com today. And make sure you go to IronMagLabs.com right now. Buy three, get one free. That's site-wide. Four for the price of three. Make sure you go to IronMagLabs.com. All the great products they have there. Highly recommended by Muscle Sport Magazine. And of course, our title sponsor, Goliath Labs. Here is their Monster Shred pre-workout, Gregorio. Nitric oxide booster supports vein pumping energy. I guess a big vein in your cock, too. Supports explosive strength and stamina. This is Colossal Labs, but it's all Goliath Labs. It's all the same company. And also, here is my favorite. I will fucking promote this every fucking damn day of my life. Ejaculoid, fellas. I am not just saying this because these guys fucking pay me for ads. Does it even work? If you're asking about ejaculoid, I have said it before and I'll say it again. It works wonderfully. You will fucking get it. Your cock will fucking, you will feel as if you're fucking John Holmes or fucking uh, Ron Jeremy when you use that. And I'm not fucking lying, bro. Don't, it says take two. I'm going to tell you, take one. Don't take two. 
It'll last twice as long, first of all. But you take two, you might say, oh, this is too much. You don't need to. One is good enough. And also, our buddies over in the uh, Russia, ARLRussia.ru, make sure you check out their site. Hologram design on that box label sticker covering it. Make sure nobody's tampered with your bodybuilding supplements. How much is it? You know what? I think it's like 20-something bucks or 30 bucks. Send me the link. GoliathLabs.com, Steve. Just click on it. All of my site, there's banners for... Uh, there's actually... If you go on the homepage, there's this fucking blonde. Let me show you the ad. This ad, I, I we've used this ad. Crystal, I don't think you need to take it, but I don't know if your husband does, but... I recommend it. Here, this is this lovely lady. If you look on the banners on MuscleSportMag.com, you'll see a banner with that chick on it who's fucking smoking. I've pinched my helmet to her. Not to come, just to, you know, just get there. There's an ad in your magazine. Yep. But uh, they also make some called Herberax Crystal, which is for both men and women. I, I used it with my wife, and it's good. Has Greg blown hot thoughts at any guy's asses lately? Not lately, I don't think. And if he has, I'm going to be jealous because it wasn't my ass. If you, The next time you're going to get a dart gun, Greg, make sure I'm in the fucking room. <laughs> Would Greg eat my ass? Now we're getting gay. <laughs> Sucking our own dicks is one thing. <laughs> Listen, if Greg ate my ass, he would have fucking problems because that would be fucking disgusting, bro. We are good friends, but we're not fucking gay friends. We'll I'm on a keto diet. I don't eat I don't eat high uh, high calorie foods like Joe's calorie. ass. <laughs> Steve Schusman. You got trend deck, Steve? See I never had that. Everybody's always said Decker and Trend Deck. I, maybe I'm just fucking, you know, lucky. I never got gyno. Maybe it's all beat shit up. <laughs> I don't know. I look like you shit know, anyway. <laughs> No, I'm just a maintained kind of guy. I don't fucking go crazy. I can't go overboard. But we got about two and a half minutes left. I def Guys, on the fucking Instagram live feed, you make this fucking hour fucking awesome. Greg's going to tell more stories. He's going to do more videos and stuff. And read his column. His fucking stories in every fucking column, of course. But uh, I got so hard on Decker and no guy now. I never had a problem, but I guess I, I've always uh, used fucking... Uh, Kama Sikyama, test stacking it. So I never used them solo. So I think one time I made it a long time Wait, ago. What's he asking? Something with Deca Deck, uh, you know, to use the ejaculoid for. No, if you take trend, you got to take caper goal. And otherwise, back you're issues get of MSN. Prolactin. It's not estrogen, it's prolactin. Yes. Deca Deck is anything over about four to 600 milligrams of Deca, you get it. And that's all. That's you know, that's from. <laughs> take, uh, take, take caper goal and shit like that, you'll be fine. Hey, guy asked for back issues. Go to musclesportmag.com slash store. Crystal might have gyno. Let me suck it out of you. <laughs> oh. Dude, I like trend, but that trend cough is bullshit. Thank that you guys for be being so real. Thank you, Lily Azazali. Thank you for being a fucking supporter. I know everybody says that. We love our supporters. Greg and I really do. We always fucking answer, guys. I never just fucking go, oh, that's nice. That guy made a comment. Fuck that. I, I, want, I always like it or answer it. I always try to fucking go out there. And I, to me, if I can't get to it, that's a good problem. I'll, then I'll work for it and get to it. But I love getting comments okay. on the fucking YouTube videos. Greg always fucking answers. And you know it's Greg. You can't miss his fucking style, how he types and the way he, you know, <laughs> quote unquote speaks, yeah, right? Answered. And same thing with me. You always know. BTH189, best fucking show. Thanks, both. Thank you, my friend. I like that World Gym fucking logo. That's a cool uh, avatar you got there. It's hard to see, but I can. It's cool. I like the coloring on that with the gorilla. But yeah, man, fucking. Uh, we're going to be fucking out of time in a few seconds. So, guys, thank you. This show will be up on YouTube probably by this evening because I got to get some shit done. So I'm not going to have a chance to, to render it and put it up. I got to put the green screen and stuff like that. And I put, I don't know if you guys watched last week, I changed different photos. You know, Greg's picture on there since he's not on the camera. So I try to get, the, you know, some funny shit going on back there. So... Stay fit and Dawson. You guys made my day. Thank you. You made my fucking day by being part of this fucking show, guys. Um, correct, tell Greg to do porn. Greg, do porn. Crazy Hawk wants to know. Love you, brother. Steve, love you too. <laughs> Steve's been with us a long time. I'll get right on that. Don't feed the dog bloody tampons. Edward Jackson wants to know. God bless hey, you guys, and Greg. If you want to meet me, come to fucking our party.
party, bro. April yes. 1st, Strong and Shapely Gym, 1 o'clock in the afternoon. We're going to have a big party. Come to the fuck. We'll talk about it before then. Strong and Shapely Gym, right by Giant Stadium, East Rutherford, New Jersey, 150 Union Avenue. We will be there all day giving away free shit. Goliath Labs, Bart, I spoke to him on the phone a couple of, uh, two hours ago. He will be there giving out fucking samples and stuff like that. So you can not only get to hang out and fucking laugh and work out and shit, but you're going to get free shit. I'm going to have t-shirts to give away. I ordered a whole bunch of new shirts. I'm hoping they fucking die. The shipping dates posted me before, then I'll kill them if they don't come in because that's why I ordered them. But come and meet us there, but we're going to be out of time. Ah, we just got fucking cut off on that. So that is going to do it for us. Greg, thank you. As always, another fucking classic in the books, my friend. My pleasure, my brother. Talk to you later, man. We'll see you guys next week, Mondays, 3 p.m., live on Instagram and on the YouTube channel. Have a good one.